Yes. Only thing is, a long, long way away with the pot. But as I say, and the only one he could leave was the one he was playing. There's a possibility that Rory could take this on. He can also stun it and hold it behind the green, John. And I think that's what he's played. And uh, another inch, and that would have had Joe banging trouble. But as it is, he can get through. <laughs> Although it's not favourable because it's going right into the middle of the pack of reds. Yeah, there's the gap. There's always a gap. No, I think he, he can't go through the gap because there's no path back. So I think he's got to look to be coming off two cushions here. He could elect to play the, the red, but it's, it's a risky shot. And that would be to run the red through and put himself on the back cushion. But to get the accuracy yeah, with that. Absolutely. And, you know, you, you could run into the black or anything. The only problem is when we talk about these, you know, coming off two cushion, because he can get through that gap and hit that red, if he was to play it as though he was snookered, two misses, then he'd be warned. That's correct, John. Now with that, you can see that red full ball. He only has two shots at this. Yeah. He would then be forced into playing that shot. Well... Good luck with this one, Josie. I think he's actually conceded the left-hand side red. I think he was looking then at actually just rolling up to it and running into the red spot. Okay, foot. it's all about pace, this one. You cannot shot this, if I'm being perfectly honest, but, you know, the position he's in, there's not a lot else he's got to go at. Yeah, John, this is where it's going to get tricky because if he misses it this time, he's going to be put in an awkward yeah. position. Yeah, the dreaded miss rule. <laughs> okay, Joe, try number two. Just a minor adjustment. Wants to hit this red full in the face. Needs to hit it full. Oh, unlucky. Miss. Now, will he be warned? Will he be warned? Yeah, there is that too. We'll listen out for this. What a way to lose a match. <laughs> saying, what a way to lose a match. It's the gap. Yeah, well, he's going straight through the gap. We're going to hope for the best. Can't blame him. Originally, is to just roll up to the red. I thought it was his best option. Well, at least you're saving on shoot. Two cushions, and that's up to this red, and it closes to the top cushion. Well, that is. <laughs>
He was trying to nestle up tight to the black there, but he's left Joe the chance of reversing the roll now, of getting the white back to bulk. Clipping off this red. See if he can hit it thin enough. Very important safety exchange this now. Just seven points of difference, Rory McLeod in front. But, uh, well, the way the balls are, and particularly if you could open those three reds just below the pink, next chance could be a good scoring one. I think there's going to be a lot more snooker in this match yet, John. Well, it could be, and I wonder if Joe may be tempted by this red to the far left corner. I don't see uh, any pressure on it, and if it goes in, he could be on the black. He does have the opposite option of the double on the red, or he could clip off that red and come behind the green, putting the red back into the pack. I fancy the pot to the left corner, but... I think he's going to Importantly, clip Joe doesn't. Good strike, but unfortunately, just not accurate enough. Another thin snick for Joe off the left hand red could actually put him behind the green. Has to catch it quite thin. He's electing to uh, open the reds up though and make it more difficult if he can get the top cushion. Nearly. Nearly got Rory in trouble there. You could think, well, that's a missed opportunity to get that cue ball in behind the green. As I say, very important tactical exchange this who gets next chance and there's your answer great pot one Yeah, the positional side of that shot wasn't uh, straightforward, so he was electing to keep the pressure on in this tense frame.
The thing is, when you keep uh, winning these safety exchanges and then when your opponent makes a mistake, you think, well, look, I've forced the error. I've got to take advantage of it, but this is a tricky pot. You know, that wasn't easy by any means. Now, as he left it, he has chance for Joel Johnson, who was always on the back foot. It just shows you, always on the back foot in this frame. And now that miss from Rory, and it's advantage Joel Johnson comes to the table. Referee having a word. Rory having a word. Anyway. That pink could have gone run, run too far. He, he may be able to cut this back. If it does, the white's going to be running across the table, so he'd take his chances on landing on the red. And as you see, is it that way too thick? Joe Johnson, one. Well, that's two chances he's had now. Not been able to make them all soon. Begs the question, will he get another one? It's okay, he just Seven. drifted by the red, it's on to the right corner, 18 points the lead. So these two reds, two high value colours, and it looks like Rory McLeod is through to the uh, quarterfinal. The Highlander versus the Hurricane. I'm oh, sorry, the world. Two great, fantastic players. But like John said, this black, another red. You see him over the line. All the balls in the open.
Joe had a couple of chances in this frame, but uh, he didn't take them. 15. And now... Now just one more red. Sixteen. That leaves him twenty seven in front with twenty seven on, so just the colour needed. They love looking at the scoreboard snooker players. They never believe their eyes the first eight or nine times. Just making certain of the brown. That gets him to snooker's required. He couldn't get good position on the yellow, but uh, he thinks, well, that does the trick. 20. At the moment, one four-point snooker to tie for Joe Johnson. There you see it. 31 ahead is Rory. 27 remaining. Rory McLeod. But uh, 20. don't worry. One snooker. Uh, it's not beyond... Joe Jones, Johnson, by any means. You know, he does know his way around the snooker table. 20. Anyway, it's nice to see Joe whenever he turns up and uh, obviously does a lot of commentary work for Eurosport. Now is he contemplating having a go at the pot here? He's got plenty of options. But he'll be aware, particularly where those colours are, that one snooker, he's, Joe's a, a danger still. He did try to pot it. I think he's, uh, we're splitting them three colours up, so it, it's, uh, took the, took the, uh, the simple opportunity for Joe to get behind them. That's just coming out from behind the green. And that's a couple of those. He's absolutely cute beautifully, but just just wide of the mark. The one thing, if you feel you can't get the snooker, you've got to get the object ball safe. Because if you don't, then uh, your opponent pots it, you don't get any more chances for snookers. Mm, needs to run this yellow cuts. So, as I say once again, imperative to get the object ball safe. Well, he's not left, well, not on it by any means easy pot. Funny if Rory had that chance of the yellow on his last visit. I've never been one. I think if you can pot a ball, you know, it's not too difficult to clinch the the match well why would you refuse it 
I never work it out, to be honest with you. Yeah, he, John, he, he had this sh the shot of the yellow in the yellow pocket, but he didn't know where the rest of the colours were going because he was colliding into them. And, uh, yeah, but the one in the green pocket, I mean, the one that he refused yeah. last time around. Yeah, I agree with you. you could, uh, I mean, like this, you wouldn't turn down this pot. If he knocks it in, more than likely, Joe will concede. Absolutely, absolutely, John. In it goes. I think he's going to land nicely on the green. Well, with the kiss. So I think Joe Johnson, 1986 world champion in this very same Crucible Theatre. He's played his last shot in this year's Ways World Seniors Championship. And for Nine. Rory McLeod, the Highlander, as he's affectionately known, a date with the whirlwind. I got it right this time. Tonight at uh, seven o'clock. So that's one to look forward to. 14. I think he's played quite well though, Rory, here. Yeah, as I said, he's a good technical player, but um, he'll have to up his game a little 20. bit on the... Uh, on